Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Coffee, best thing in the world. And I'm gonna make one with lifestyle coffee. Disclaimer, I am not a barista or a professional, but uh, this is just how I make my coffee in the morning or afternoon. So um, if you have any tips, any recommendation, uh, feel free to leave them down below on how uh, you make coffee. Because this, this is just how I make my coffee every day. So uh, this is the coffee that I will be making. This is the Lifestyle Sagada Arabica. Um, links will be down below. Uh, make sure to check them out. Order now. They have different kinds of uh, coffee. You can just check them out. So here we go. So what I have here is my pour over coffee or coffee pot. Um, I got this in Shopee. Uh, I'll leave the link below. Um, it's really cheap. And of course my hot water and my cup. This is my favorite cup. It's big and yeah, I love it. And also all you'll need is a measuring spoon. I don't know what it's called, but you'll need is one tablespoon. Make sure it's one tablespoon, okay. And then after that, I pre-wet my uh, coffee filter first. So now that your filter is clean, because I have a metal filter, but I don't recommend this. But this is what I have. The reason why I did that as well is because you know metal have this uh, smell, this flavor. So you want to get rid of that, and also you want to kind of uh, heat up your pot. So now your pot is nice and hot. Time for your coffee. So uh, what I do is I get a uh, two tablespoon of coffee. That's about 30 grams of coffee. That's just an estimate, ba uh, also based on my research. But uh, I recommend that you 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 use uh, a scale so it's more accurate. That's uh, 30 grams of coffee. And first is I pre-wet the coffee. This is called the blooming. Um, yeah, I, I don't know why, but uh, I forgot, but uh, it's, 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 it has something to do with the um, acid thing. I don't know, I forgot. And then now I just repeat the process until I reach about 300 ml of water. And then after that, you just throw it away. Now you just kind of want to shake it just so the flavor, you know, I don't know what it's called. I'm not a barista. But um, this is what you want. This is about um, 300 uh, millimeters ml. So you want about 300 ml of water. Oh, oh. not so uh, formal. <laughs> so you want about 300 ml of water. And this is good enough for me. You want to pour it in your cup. <laughs> so um, that process, that uh, coffee making process took about five minutes or so, I don't know. So if you really love coffee and you're into coffee and you call yourself a coffee lover, I really really recommend you do this. And if you're still not doing this, it's okay. Um, before I was kind of scared of doing it as well uh, for myself because, you know, I used to drink um, those instant coffee three-in-one coffee because it, it is cheaper and it's, you can find it easily in the market and uh, I, I've been all I've always wanted to try this but I'm just scared to uh, you know tell my parents about it because they will say that oh, you, know, you can just find those in the market three-in-one is easier but investment this is investment so when I bought this um, it changed my life. <laughs> oh, yeah. It changed. Yes. <coughs> it changed my whole perspective in coffee. Oh, oh yeah. coffee! So that's why don't judge me because this is kind of a uh, you know first time thing. Uh, I've I've only been doing this for like almost a week, 
because all I've been doing is watch this on YouTube. So now I'm actually doing it and I'm actually kind of experimenting and you know, the process of doing it is actually really, really hard. So if you love coffee and you're still not doing this, go and just go buy these kind of coffee this is the lifestyle coffee ph uh the sagada arabica it's strong it has this taste on um, the kind of bitterness you want the strongness that you want in the morning um it will make you want to wake up every morning just to make coffee because you know because of this pandemic this quarantine it's making us you know kind of lazy so now i wake up every morning afternoon i wake up every morning just to make coffee and it's the best thing ever so you can go to their links and check out their other products their other flavors this is not the only flavor they have they have this hazelnut they have the barako and if you're uh kind of new to coffee they have coffee that are not strong because this is the strong one i wanted to buy i wanted to buy the strong one so oh, i asked them I wanted to buy the strong one. So this is the strong one I bought from them because I asked them if they have any recommendation of any dark roasted coffee, the strong coffee. And they recommended me this Sagada Arabica and it did not disappoint me. Like really it has this taste that you really want to taste every morning. So oh, it's so good. You don't need to add sugar or anything. It's, it is what it is. Coffee, it it is it. it. <laughs> I like my coffee black. I don't like putting sugar or milk or cream. And you know what? You know what they say, right? Once you go black, you never go back. <laughs> yeah. It has changed my life. Good for swimming. And, and you know, there's a lot of good benefits when you drink uh black coffee. When you just drink pure coffee, um, it doesn't have that much, you know this it's good for when you're going on a diet so you won't have this what i what i have now so um i'm also waking up in the morning oh wow it is the best or like when you drink now then like in eight hours or five hours oh my god boom <laughs> so this is 250 grams you can make about eight to ten cups of coffee with this um, depending on how you make coffee because I make my you know, uh, 30 grams of this and 300 uh, ml of water so yeah so it really depends on how much you make coffee and how you do it so by the way this video is not sponsored by the lifestyle coffee but ph um, I, this one is personally bought by me because I really really want to try it um, so I've been talking to them about their products about this and they've been really really uh, responsive so go ahead and check their account and message them talk to them ask them about their coffee their products they will respond quick and yeah they're really nice people so um they know what you want in a coffee so i asked them for their um dark coated ones and they really recommend me this and i'm not disappointed so i'm sorry about the cats that are fighting out um, thank you for watching this video of me making my coffee uh, this coffee making process. I know it's a little bit uh, boring, but you know, I'm still going to improve. And soon, if I um, I kind of improved in making this coffee, I will make uh, more videos like this on how I make like you no know, other types of coffee. So for for now, I just showed you guys how I make my coffee in the morning or in the afternoon and. Mostly I make this at night as well when I'm you know editing or just watching videos or watching friends so um coffee thanks for watching good day